In this media, we are going to learn about isolating valve. I often, you must, you must also be wondering that why I choose a very small topics. The reason being is that the video should not create any sort of boredom and directly I create videos which are the questions which are generally asked in orals. Sometimes I have found people confused about this isolating valve. So I thought let me cover this as a part of the video. Okay, so this is to the point and it is often asked by the surveyor. So that's why it is hand-picked topics. Now, when we talk about isolating valves, the first thing that you need to remember is the fire main system. Okay, so this is a general arrangement for a fire main system on ships. For fire main systems and associated machinery, fire pump, emergency fire pump, regulations, requirement, everything we have covered, COT system, foam system, DCP system, please go and do watch those videos. Okay, so here is the isolating valve that we must be taught. It is very important and very significant. That is why it is separately asked by the surveyor. Okay. Let's go. An isolation valve is used in fluid management to stop the flow of process fluid in a pipeline. So isolation means what? It is going to isolate the two uh, lines. Anything which isolates means which separates. Okay. This is usually for maintenance or safety purposes. So there can be two reasons for maintenance or safety purposes. A valve is classified as an isolation valve because of its intended function in a process pipe loop, not because of the design of the valve itself. Okay. Now, when we talk about, see again, uh, the same diagram is being uh, replicated and you see here the foam system also gets uh, from this fire main system. Now, importance of isolating valves. Why are we discussing so much? Isolating valves separate the section of the fire main within the machinery space containing the main fire pump or the pumps from the rest of the fire main and shall be fitted in an easily accessible and tenable position outside the machinery space. So what is the question that is asked? What is isolating valve? So you are supposed to answer that it is a valve that is isolating the machinery space from the other spaces. Okay, machinery space where fire pump we have located, where we have fire pump is generally, that is GS pump is generally located in the uh, machinery space that is in the bottom platform of the engine room. Okay, and uh, the, the, uh, so it has to be and they'll ask you the location. Okay, and shall be fitted in easily accessible and tenable position outside the machinery space. It must be outside the machinery space. So what are regulations for isolation valve on ships as per solar? The fire main shall be so arranged that when the isolating valve are shut, all the hydrant on the ship except those in the machinery space can be supplied with water by another fire pump or an emergency fire pump. So this is the regulation that is that it talks about. That it must be so arranged that when the isolating valves are shut, all the hydrants on the ship except those in the machinery space can be supplied with water by another fire pump or by an emergency fire pump. Means we are supposed to shut, shut all the other valves on the deck or any other spaces in the accommodation and everywhere and only machinery space it will provide by any other fire pump. The emergency fire pump, its seawater inlet, suction delivery pipes and isolating valves shall be located outside the machinery space. These things we have already covered. Location of isolating valve on board ship on oil and fuel oil tanker. Isolation valve shall be fitted in the fire main at the poop front in, in a protected position and on the tank deck at interval of not more than 40 meter to preserve the integrity of fire main system in case of the fire or explosion. So, uh, we have already covered that what is an isolating valve and what is the significance of isolating valve and where it is located and what are the requirements and the regulations for these isolating valves. I hope this is clear with this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your valuable time. All the very best.